Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make an eight color spiral with a black back. So for this spiral, I'm going to use a hemostat. If you don't have a hemostat, you can use your fingers or a fork, works really nice. I started by creating a little pinch and then I've locked the hemostat down on the first click. I didn't want to make it too tight because I don't want to poke a hole in the shirt. And then I'm just going to twist. I twist clockwise and with my other hand, I pull the pleats counterclockwise. Wiggle out the hemostat gently. If you pull it out too quickly, it's going to take the whole center of the spiral with it, and then you'll have to do it all over again. And then just secure it with some rubber bands. Or you could use kite string if that's what you prefer. It's just whatever you like to use best. Now it's time for the fun part. We get to add the dye. And try to start with your primary colors. That way when they meet in the center of the spiral, they're gonna make the pretty secondary colors instead of making brown.
I checked the inside of my pleats and I noticed I still had quite a bit of white, so I'm going to go over each color with another layer of dye. Once I get all the dye on this top layer of the shirt, I'm going to let it sit and rest for about 10 or 15 minutes. Then I'm going to come back, flip the shirt over, and we're gonna give it a quick coating with Raven Black. I let the Raven Black sit for about five minutes, and then I've come back, flipped the project back over, set the whole thing down inside of a bin, put the lid on it, and let it batch for at least 24 hours. This shirt ended up batching closer to 36 hours, and it's for no particular reason other than I could have rinsed it out after dinner, and I was just so exhausted that I figured I would just let it sit until morning which is fine. You can let them sit for a couple of days if you want to, but you don't have to. At least 24 hours is all they need. So now it's time for our rinse out. And you wanna start by using cold water, and that's going to rinse any soda ash that might still be reacting within the cotton fibers, and gradually increase your water to hot, and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine, and I do a hot water cycle. I do a second hot water cycle using Synthropol. I do a third hot water cycle using Milsoft. And what Milsoft is, it's a softener that brings softness back into the fabric after the dye process. I put it in the dryer and we're gonna come back and see the results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our shirt after it's been washed and dried. And I love this spiral. I love all my spirals, but I really love this one. So there is a little bit of white within the spiral. And normally I'm pretty disappointed about that. But for some reason, it just works on this shirt. And I really like the two extra colors, which is lilac and the scarlet red. I don't know guys. What do you think about this shirt? Go ahead and leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell for future notifications. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.